What will you do to get a real school board who will advocate yes. for the children? What will you do to get a real school board who will advocate for the children? Good question. Great question. Good question. You know, the, the school board is appointed by the mayor. Uh, I've been asked, do I, do I feel that it should be, uh, they should be elected? And I said, well, if I wasn't going to be the mayor, I'd say yes. But being the mayor, I know that I'll make very good choices. So I want to have that opportunity because I want people that, are, that have the right heart for our children and the passion, not just are looking for a title on a resume. So I will have the best qualified. I will take the advice of the community leaders as to who they feel <coughs> best practices for our children to have the best chance. Everything I do is focused when it comes to the schools is to the child getting the best education possible. You hit on the next question early and we only have two questions and we have very limited time. I think we have about three minutes left. Will you allow double dippers no. in your administration? No. no. I.e. the police chief? No. No, Why? No. Okay. Listen, that, that is a disincentive for the rank and file. People work all their lives to aspire to be in charge. So you're in charge, somebody else is in charge, they retire, they come back. No, that's not how that's supposed to work. Again, that destroys the morale of rank and file. Because when a battalion chief goes to chief, Someone below him becomes a battalion chief, and someone below him becomes the captain and the lieutenant. That's opportunity. That's what is. That's what life's about. Final question we have for you: Will you consider opening more safe community centers in the inner city for our youth to be able to go and get the needed assistance in their structure? This is the final question. Yes. Did I call a friend? <laughs> Okay, um, absolutely. I think that, it, and we have a number of community centers uh, that need to raise, we have to raise that standard, the level of, of services that are provided. I've been in some of them, I'm not happy. Uh, I think children deserve a good, clean environment for the people that work there. Yeah. Once again, so on behalf of the Ohio Communities United, people who came out today, let's give. We want to thank you again for coming to our event. We will be um, having more debates throughout the city of Cleveland. We will be inviting uh, other candidates for the city council. Uh, Mr. Lancey, thank you so much for your uh, kindness. We appreciate you coming to support Ohio Community United's efforts in uniting the community with the government. And we also want to say thank you to Ronnie Duncan for coming all the way from Baltimore to mediate And we want to thank you again for your support. And we look forward to seeing you all again in the near future.